Hello and welcome to the PLCMentor.com website. You are watching a video in our Wonderware In Touch training series. We'll start off by creating a new application. We can do that by going to the File menu or by clicking on our new icon here in the toolbar. So we'll click on that and it'll bring up a wizard to create a new application. Asks us a default directory to store our applications. Ask us a name. We'll call this Training, training 1. And that's going to be the directory. And we'll name the project itself the same thing. finish and now in the application manager it's created our new projects and we'll see that it's a standalone project that means we have created this within application manager to run on a standalone PC. Wonderware does have a new server based system of publishing and deploying applications called Orchestra IDE but we'll be starting off using in touch application manager to create standalone applications. Some other important things you can do within In Touch Application Manager is delete projects. We can look at the properties of projects that we've created. We'll go ahead and open that up now and just look at those briefly. There'll be some properties under the app development tab we can start the window viewer as a service very important if you're running on a PC that needs to be logged on to and you're doing any type of logging when it's uh, when someone's not logged on and we can enable the network application development or NADS which will be going in in future videos also it can adjust the resolution of our application and allow the window viewer to change the resolution if need be. You can also browse out and find other projects and bring them in that have been developed on other PCs or from different installs. All right, so let's go ahead and open up our project. And when I say open up our project, what that's going to do, in essence, is launch another software product called Window Maker. Now Window Maker is a development environment that's going to allow you to create and edit in touch applications. So we can either select our Window Maker icon with our project highlighted or we can just double click on our project. And now that we've double clicked on our project in our In Touch Application Manager, it has opened up In Touch Window Maker. And this will be our working environment. Starting at the top here, you'll see various toolbars New Window, Open Window, Close Window, Save Windows, Save All Windows. You'll have some clipboard functions here. A print function, you'll have a wizard toolbar, very important. And you'll see all these toolbars are draggable. We can dock those, move them around, and we can even put them down in our working area if we like. And so moving on down, we have our what's called the application explorer. And this pane is the classic view, which as the name implies is the older method of displaying the project and over here we have the new what's called now the project view of the application explorer over to the right we have our development area and down here we have more toolbars that are specifically associated with drawing down here we have some pan and zoom functions for our development area and all the way over to the right, we have some drawing tools, 
which is also dockable or we can put that anywhere within our working area. We'll leave it there, the default location. And so that is a brief description of our development working environment. And so let's start off by creating a window. We know we can't do much unless we make a way for the human to interface with the machine, which is what HMI stands for. We just create a window in our classic view by right clicking, selecting new, or by going up to our new window icon. We'll do that and it'll bring up a window properties for us. We'll select some properties. We'll call this our main window. We can put a comment in there. We can select a window color. We'll go with something a little brighter than gray. We'll start this off at zero and zero location for X and Y and we'll make this pretty close to our current resolution so we can display most of this while training. Now the window type, replace overlay and pop-up which we'll go over when we create our next window. We have frame style as single which is all we have as a selection right now and we have title bar, size controls, some things like that. We'll go ahead and turn off the frame style since we have a limited working area right now. And we'll select OK. So now it has our current window open. We can tell it's open in the classic view window section is because our main window icon here is yellow field, meaning that it is currently open. You can also see the new window we created under the new project view under the windows folder. And over in our window we see whole lot of little white dots all over our window that's not part of the graphic that is going to be the grid that's going to assist us in our development that we get things aligned properly and, and possibly even snap to certain locations if we want to. All these preferences for your window maker can be set up by going to special configure and window maker. That's going to bring up a property window that lets us select stuff like the grid configuration. We can even turn that off here and change some other things if we want to. And so now we're ready to start developing in this area. We'll go ahead and turn our grid back on for right now just so we can show how that's used. We'll make the pixel spacing a little larger though. How's that? There we go. Some other functions that help us set up our drawing area now that we have a window are going to be we can turn off the classic view and the project view panes by clicking on these and that will give us a little more area to work if we want to do that. We can also just hide everything by clicking on this button and we can restore it by going up to view and re-clicking on hide all. We can go to full screen here. We can quickly turn off the grid here with this snap to grid icon. And we can also add a ruler to our development area to get an idea of how large the objects are in relation to other objects. You'll see we'll just create a quick rectangle in this intro. Just get an idea of what the snap to grid is going to do is going to always have it move in relation to our grid. If you ever want to put it in a position not in relation to your grid, you got to turn the grid off and now we can move it freely and fluidly in our working environment. And this has been an introduction to HMI visualization in Wonderwares in touch. We hope you have enjoyed this video on Wonderware in touch. 
for the PLC Mentor Training Series.